Hi, right, welcome back everyone. Uh, today's another Mondeo right. video. I'm at my dad's house, as you can tell, we're on the driveway. Uh, a couple of little um, changes today. I'm going to be putting some uh, yeah. new bonnet struts on the front bonnet because the lifters ain't very good now. The bonnet tends to drop down on its own, so we'll be changing them in this video. And a lot of you said you prefer these backlights rather than these ones. So I've actually got myself a set of these. Um, I, would, I don't mind either sets really, so. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a set of them on here as well uh, just to see what they look like on the silver car uh, I mean I'm happy with them and I'll, I'll be happy with them so we're just going to go with it and uh, see what they look like so let's get them changed out and uh, come back to you right then so we're in the boot now uh, I've never actually done any of these lights on these so I presume you just undo these two clips here and I'll pop that and there is a plug there we can disconnect that light for now so I'll just get that off and that reveals three eight mil bolts I think they will be so I'm just gonna go and grab some of them and uh, I'll come back to you right so they're actually 10 mils so we'll just uh, get them off Just pull the connector out as well for now. So we'll unwind them free. And the new set of lights has actually got the new uh, has actually got bulb holders with it as well. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep my old bulb holders because I know all my bulbs work. So that saves me going around checking all the other bulbs then. And there's just one more at the top there. And just make sure your lens don't fall out from the outside, so just keep one hand on that as well. It shouldn't do, but you never know. Right there, so that's... Right, that's that out then. So, that's your three fixing points. And I presume this will just you bend them tabs in look and that should release your bulb holder then so I will be replacing the bulb holders and I'll check these seals as well because this is quite a good seal on this one I need to check that to compare that to the next one because I don't want any leaks coming in so let's get the next one out and have a look at that right so here's the, the new set well they're not new they the second hand but the seal on that is good as well so what I will do is I'll just take these out and I'm going to replace the bulb holders and I'll do that and I'm going to give this a quick clean up around here and then I'll come back to you when we're ready to fit it right then so we're coming in from the back entrance again now um, it's quite a good job I actually took the bulb holders out to change them because the new lights didn't actually have any bulbs in them so that saved us a job of messing about there so we just push them in there and we'll get the three nuts started off. And it's a straightforward job this, it's only a 10 minute job really. So we'll get them, and before we nip them up we'll just make sure they're seated, seated, make sure they're sitting where they need to be. So. Right then, as you can see, I've got one in now. So I'll just give you a bit of a comparison. That's the full red side lens on it with no chrome trim at the bottom. And then you come to this side. And you've got the, it's not fully red on this side, so you've got the two silver stripes and uh, you've got the chrome trim. So they don't look too bad. As I say, I'm, I'm happy with either set, so, but we'll, we'll, we, 
but we will go with these ones for now. In fact, I've just noticed there, that one's actually got a crack on the lens, look. So it's definitely coming off now anyway, so there we go. Right, let's get the other one done and I'll uh, put you on a bit of time lapse for that one. hazards on, they're all working, the lights are on, I've checked the brake lights and everything else, uh, reverse lights, all working as it should, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So you can see we've got both back ends are the same now, so yeah, let's get on to the bonnet struts now, I'll see you around the front. Right then, so it's these struts here we're going to be changing today and I've got a, a new set here, and um, it's fairly straightforward. All you have to do is have these little pins on the back and you just get um, a screwdriver in there. And they just prise like that and that just opens it up. And once you're on your ball socket, you just take your screwdriver out and it re-clips in. So there you go. So we're just going to pop them ones out, but as... This is what I mean, look, just slight knock on it and it just drops the bonnet, so we'll get that one changed first. I've got to mind that drop on my nut. Let's try the top one first. There we go. And that's that one out. And then Remember to put them on the right way. That's that one in. And that's that. So they just push in. And that's already stiffened it up. See, it's not dropping on its own now, just with the one on it. Right, then I'll try and bring you in a bit for this one. Remember, I use my head as a lever up to when we take the weight off of it take this strut out the bonnet wants to drop down see I'll just pull that one off we're not bothered about them struts now right so the bottom one in first just click in just close that bracket up make sure the bottom one's clipped in which that is so that's a straightforward job on there and now I ain't got to worry about this dropping on my head when I'm working on it because it's it's not going down now at all look. let's just uh, make sure it all shuts properly everything's alright there all the lines are alright, it's not raised at the back anyway so I'm happy with that that it weren't doing that before before it just wanted to lay down on the on its rest so yeah they've probably been on since new them lifters so they're well well overdue and change and uh, I might even look into getting the boot one done because it's a bit lazy as well so for the sake of a that's a three minute job that they just put up the take the top spring out the bottom one pulls out push them straight back on. So it's only a short little video today but I thought I'd bring you along to show you how to re replace your rear lights if you want to upgrade them or change them if you've got a broken one or even just changing a bulb you know how to get in there now and mess about with them so and the same with the bonnet lifters some of you might have them on your boot the same problem or under your bonnets they are simple jobs to do all you need is a little flatted screwdriver they take seconds to pop off and put a new one on so yeah, I think we're going to leave that here for this one. And um, we've got a few jobs to be coming up on this. I've got just ordered a new set of, well, a new set, I mean all four discs and pads. So they're all going to be getting done. 
We've still got the service to do on it. And I've got some new gaskets for the inlet manifold and uh, stuff like that. So there's going to be a few videos coming up on here with bits of bobs to do. It's just that I want to change it so I know it's all been done. And uh, it's got an MOT in November, so I want all the discs and pads and everything already fresh for that. And uh, I'll know where I stand with the car then. So I'm going to leave that one here for this one. And um, until then, we'll see you about.